Imagine a leopard, a master of stealth, moving silently through the dense undergrowth. Its spotted coat is perfect camouflage. Its paws make no sound. Visually, it is nearly invisible. For a monkey foraging peacefully in the trees above, this predator is the ultimate threat. So how can it possibly know that danger is approaching? Could it be that a monkey's nose, an often overlooked sense, can act as an early warning system, picking up the scent of danger on the wind long before the threat is seen or heard? Before we follow the scent, if you are curious about the incredible survival skills of primates, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel, Monkeylo. And if you find this journey into their sensory world fascinating, be sure to like and share the video. Your support helps us explore these amazing topics. Now, let's find out if a monkey's nose is its secret weapon. To answer this question, we first have to understand the primate sensory toolkit. For most monkeys, especially those from Africa and Asia, known as old world monkeys, one sense reigns supreme above all others, sight. These monkeys, like us, have traded olfactory power for exceptional vision. They evolved forward-facing eyes for excellent depth perception, which is crucial for leaping between branches. And most importantly, they developed color vision. This ability is a huge advantage for finding ripe, colorful fruits and for spotting a predator hiding among the green leaves. Their brains reflect this. The part of the monkey brain dedicated to processing visual information is enormous. In contrast, the part responsible for smell, the olfactory bulb, is significantly smaller than what you would find in an animal famous for its nose, like a dog or a bear. So for a baboon or a macaque, their eyes and their ears are their primary defense against predators. They are constantly scanning their surroundings and listening for the snap of a twig. Smell is more of a background sense. But this is not the case for all monkeys. To find the primates with truly impressive noses, we have to travel to Central and South America. Here, the New World monkeys tell a different story. Many of these monkeys, like spider monkeys and howler monkeys, branched off our shared family tree much earlier. In many ways, their sense of smell is more ancestral, more like that of early primates such as lemurs. They did not sacrifice as much smelling ability for their eyesight. A great example of this is the owl monkey. As a nocturnal primate, it is active at night when vision, even with its huge eyes, is limited. In the darkness, smell and sound become much more important. Owl monkeys rely heavily on scent, marking to communicate with each other, leaving their own unique odor on branches to define their territory and find mates. A heightened sense of smell is essential for navigating their dark, fragrant world and this would naturally extend to detecting other creatures sharing their environment, including those that might want to eat them. So, for the monkeys that do have a good sense of smell, how far away can they actually detect a predator? The answer is not a simple number of feet or meters. It is incredibly complicated and depends almost entirely on the environment. Smell is not a magical force, it is the physical movement of tiny scent molecules through the air. For a monkey to smell a predator, these molecules have to travel from the predator to the monkey's nose. The single most important factor in this process is the wind. The predator must be upwind from the monkeys, meaning the wind must be blowing from the predator towards them. If the wind is blowing in the opposite direction, it does not matter how strong the predator's scent is the monkey will smell absolutely nothing. The wind has to be a delivery service for the scent. A steady, consistent breeze in the right direction is the only way a scent can travel a significant distance. The weather also plays a huge role. Humidity is key. In a damp, humid jungle, scent molecules tend to cling to the moisture in the air and linger for longer, making them easier to detect. On a very dry day, scents can dissipate much more quickly. On the other hand, a heavy rainstorm can be a predator's best friend, as it can completely wash most scents out of the air, creating a blank slate and effectively making the predator invisible to a monkey's nose. So, under absolutely perfect conditions, with a steady wind and high humidity, 
a monkey with a keen nose might detect a predator from a few hundred meters away. But perfect conditions in the wild are very rare. This brings us to another critical question. Are the monkeys smelling the predator itself? Or are they smelling the signs the predator left behind? More often than not, it is the latter. A large cat like a jaguar or a leopard is a territorial animal. It will mark its territory by spraying urine on trees and rubbing scent glands against bushes. This scent is a powerful calling card that says, I own this area. A monkey troop moving through the forest can easily smell these scent marks. While it does not tell them where the leopard is right now, it tells them that a leopard is actively using this part of the forest. It is a sign to be on high alert. This is a much more reliable use of smell than trying to catch a fleeting scent of the animal itself on the wind. Monkeys might also be able to smell fear. When an animal is attacked and highly stressed, its body can release certain chemical signals or pheromones. If a predator has recently made a kill nearby, these scents of alarm and death can linger in the air. A monkey detecting this would instantly know that a predator is close and has been successful, raising the troop's defensive state to its highest level. To detect all these different chemical signals, monkeys have another piece of sensory equipment, the vomeronasal organ, also known as Jacobson's organ. This is a specialized patch of sensory cells in the roof of the mouth, used to detect heavy moisture-borne scent particles like the pheromones used in social communication. While it is more associated with finding mates than finding predators, it shows the complexity of the primate olfactory system. It is a second nose dedicated to decoding the important chemical messages that surround them. Ultimately, a monkey never relies on a single sense for its survival. Its true genius lies in its ability to combine all of its senses into a single, comprehensive picture of the world. A monkey might hear the faint sound of a branch breaking. Its ears will pivot towards the sound. Its sharp eyes will then scan that area, looking for any unnatural movement or shape that does not belong. It might then sniff the air, trying to gather any additional olfactory information. It is this symphony of senses, this cross-referencing of information, that gives the monkey its best chance of detecting a threat. And the orchestra is the entire troop. A single monkey might miss a sign, but it is highly unlikely that 30 or 40 monkeys all will, with dozens of pairs of eyes and ears, all constantly scanning the world from different angles. The troop as a whole has a nearly senolune degree sensory awareness. When one monkey, the sentry, detects danger, it does not keep it to itself. It lets out a loud specific alarm call that instantly communicates the threat to everyone. The collective power of the group is the ultimate defense system, far more effective than any single sense on its own. So while a monkey's nose may not be its primary tool for spotting danger from a great distance, it is a vital part of its survival toolkit. It is a secondary system that provides crucial information about what has been in the area, and for some species, what might be coming. The ability to smell is just one instrument in the beautiful and complex orchestra of senses that allows these incredible animals to survive, day after day, in a world full of hidden dangers. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the sensory world of monkeys, please take a second to like, share, and subscribe. It is the best way to support our channel and helps us to continue growing and bringing you more videos. We also love hearing from you. What primate topic would you like us to explore next? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we will see you on the next one.